How are you all doing? Welcome back to yet another beginner's guide. Last time we spoke about crafting, link will be in the description for that one. Today however we are talking about weapon and armour choices and also set discussion. If you are completely new to ESO and you haven't seen the crafting beginner's guide, I would highly recommend you go back to watch it before this one. There will be some callbacks to previously discussed tutorials. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with weapon and armour choice, just to recap what weapons and armour are available to the player, you have the following. Heavy armour, along with swords, daggers, axes, maces, great swords, battle axes and mauls, will all be found within the blacksmithing station. Medium and light armour will be found within the clothing station. Lastly, bows, shields, fire, lightning, frost and restoration staffs will be found within the woodworking station. So the question is, what armour do you use and what weapon type do you use? So this all comes down to your role. Again, just to recap, that will either be a magicka damage dealer, stamina damage dealer, healer or a tank. This choice will determine the answer to that question. If you prefer using Magicka to do damage or heal, you're going to need to look at light armour. The weapon choice does differ between the two. For a damage dealer, you'll need to look at fire or lightning staffs, but for healing, you'll need to look at a restoration staff. For stamina users looking to deal some damage, you'll need to look solely into medium armour. For weapons though, you have a lot of choices to choose from. Dual wielding swords, daggers, axes and maces, or two-handing a greatsword, maul or battle axe, and lastly, the choice of using a bow. For tanks, you'll need to look into using heavy armour, and your weapon choice will either be a sword and shield, or perhaps even an ice staff. You may be wondering, why do I have to use these options for my role? Why can't I mix and match? The answer is because of the skills and passives granted by the skill trees from the armour and weapons you use. Let's look at a few examples. What you can see here are the skills available within the light armour skill tree. As you can see, whilst wearing light armour, you gain benefits best suited for a Magicka user. A good example would be Evocation. Increasing your Magicka recovery and reducing the cost of your Magicka abilities by a certain percent and increasing for each piece of light armour worn. All the armour skill trees are just like this. As for the weapon skill trees, both their active and passive skills are best suited for a particular role, hence why you need to choose wisely what weapon you use and what armour you wear. Now we move on to weapon and armour sets. To start off, you'll need to find a crafting set location. Within ESO's multiple zones, you'll find two to three crafting locations. Some are harder to find than others, so be on the lookout whilst exploring. The icon that will appear on your compass and map look like this. The locations are themed around the zone you're in. The crafting locations will contain the same things no matter where you are in Tamriel. Within a crafting location, you will find one of every crafting station. That's because at these locations, you'll be able to craft a set of armour and weaponry that give you powerful bonuses. Every crafting location has a different set and there are loads within Tamriel to find. I'm using this crafting location on High Isle as my example. When you use any of the crafting stations, you'll notice that more things have been added to the screen. To start, you'll notice the new window that's opened over your character. This window showcases the set you're about to craft. For this location on High Isle, this set is called Order's Wrath. When trying to understand sets, it's a lot easier than you think. In order to craft a piece of armour or weaponry in that specific set, you first need to reach the requirement of traits researched. We spoke about traits and research last time in the previous guide. 
For Order's Wrath, in order to craft something in this set, you require three traits researched on an item. If you craft and equip two or more items of this set, you'll be granted bonuses for doing so. So, for Order's Wrath, if you equip two pieces of armour or weaponry, you'll receive an increase to your critical chance. If you then equip a third piece, you'll gain some weapon and spell damage as well. It goes on and on until you've reached the max set pieces of five. And then you'll have all the listed bonuses. So how does this link to your role within ESO? It links because there are multiple different sets available to craft, each with differing total researched trait requirements. However, the point is, some sets will be better for a tank, some for a healer, and others for damage dealers. Order's Wrath, for example, is best suited for a damage dealer. So that ends this beginner's guide all about weapon and armor choice, along with crafting sets for your character. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. If so, then leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all next time when I'll be discussing what you can do in Tamriel. What is there to see and do? Take care.